How's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to talk a little bit about our, how we are investing our money as we try to uh, get to early retirement. Before I get started, uh, first I want to say that in February of this year, 2018, I stopped all investments. So I stopped putting all the monthly allotments into uh, you know the investment accounts that I'm about to talk about. And that's because I wanted our priority to be getting completely out of debt. So now in September, we're actually completely debt free, including our mortgage. And that's because right now we're in the middle of uh, selling our house and buying a new one. We already closed on our old house, so that one's sold already. Uh, we got the money and we're waiting to close on our new house. So I wanna start out by saying that I'm not a professional at all. Everything that I know about investing has either been through Google or through experience or just, you know, having uh, had professional services before and they offer some advice. Uh, but I'm really, really a beginner on investment. Uh, but I've gotten lucky a couple of times. And so everything that I'm about to talk to you guys about is completely based on my situation and what my goals are. Take what you can from it, but don't take it as a, a financial advice because it's gonna be completely different for you. All right, so let me start off by saying how I started investing. I'm still in the military. I just hit 20 years of service. When I came in, the military was still offering like an old system where you come in, you get a pension once you hit retirement age. The military also offers a TSP account. That's what the new soldier are getting into so the the new uh, system you have to put money into it so that you can get money out of it once you retire for me because I'm still in the old system this TSP is kind of like an extra so any money that I have invested in there is just an addition to the pension that I will receive when I hit retirement age initially when I started the TSP and I started actually putting money into it it was back in 2008 I think I had like $1,500 in there and it was all getting invested in the G fund now the G fund which I'll cover later in a different video uh, it's basically just government bonds and, and things like that. So I changed it and so now uh, the TSP is invested into large companies, small companies, and international companies. I've seen an improvement on not just dividends but also gains. So right now the TSP is our biggest fund. That's where most of our money is. When Megan started working after she graduated college, I started an IRA. We've been investing money into that one uh, since then. Uh, that's our next biggest. Uh, I also have two college funds, one for each of my daughters. I started them when they were about six months old and I've been investing every month up until February. So right now everything's kind of sitting still. Okay, so that's the money that I can't really touch. Now back in 2016, I actually started investing on my own and putting uh, money up in the stock market. I initially started with Scott Strait, but I very quickly found out that each time I bought or sold a stock, uh, I would pay $7 and when you compare that to Robinhood which I use now which and it's completely free then it almost made it seem silly to pay $14 to buy and sell a stock that I could easily buy on Robinhood for free. So right now I have three accounts that I use to invest uh, on my own uh, and I'm gonna make videos on each. The first one which takes the most involvement and also is probably the riskiest is Robinhood. It's free to buy and sell, but at the same time, you have to do the research on the companies and uh, and when you invest your money in the stock, that's on you 100%. You make the decisions to buy, sell, and all that. Uh, so it, it, it really requires a little bit more knowledge, more research, uh, a better strategy. Since I started, I've had ups and downs, but uh, right now I'm at the point where I'm real comfortable. Uh, if I buy two stocks, one of them is gonna be good, one of them is gonna be bad. So as long as the good one balances out or makes up for the bad one, then I'm okay. Another one that I use is Stash. Now with Stash, you basically put in money on industries, not necessarily on a specific stock. And so you still kind of have to do a lot of picking, but because you're picking from industries, so like uh, you put in most of your money on uh, military contractors, or you put in most of your money on big companies, or you put in most of your money into like the medical industry. So because you're putting money into industries, then it's a little less risky, uh, but it's still up to you. It's still uh, your responsibility to pick the right industry to invest your money in. What I like about the stash is that you can start up with like $5, and you can, you know, if you start out with a $20 investment, you can choose four industries for $5 each to kind of get comfortable. And then as you go, you can invest more and more and more. Uh, 
So with Robinhood, if a stock, for example, Amazon is worth $1,000, you need $1,000 just to buy that one stock, where with Stash, you can buy Amazon and a bunch of other tech companies with $5, so it's fractions of stocks. So I like that part. Similar to Stash, I also use Acorns. Now with Acorns, you don't really get to choose the industries or the individual stocks. Uh, they basically just have it set up so that you choose how aggressive you wanna invest. So if you're older and you're getting kind of ready to retire, or maybe you're saving up for something and you're kind of close to that goal, then you might wanna be more conservative. Uh, but somebody like me, I'm still young, I still have 30 years before I can retire, so that I'm more on the aggressive side. So with Acorns, you can also do $5 uh, investments, but you don't really get to choose where the money gets invested to, you just choose how aggressive you want to invest that money. So that's another thing that I like. Now, both Stash and Acorns have automatic deductions, especially Acorns is kind of known for adding up all your transactions and trying to pull pennies and cents and then making every $5 makes a uh, withdrawal. I started doing that in the beginning, but I didn't like how many transactions were happening on my bank account. So I stopped doing that. I just invest once a week. At least I did until February. So that's pretty much it. Those are all the places where I have money invested. When I put money in there, I assume that I'm not gonna see it. I assume that it's gonna be completely gone. So far I've been lucky and I've been actually gaining on all of them. But it's always with the idea that something's gonna happen market is going to crash and all that money is going to be gone so that's the only way that i feel comfortable because i assume that that money is is going to be it's not going to be there tomorrow so one it helps me not to pull it out or sell it or worry about it and two if it does happen then i was already prepared for it so that was a really quick video i know there's a lot of information but remember i'm going to make individual videos on each of these apps or at least uh, each of the investments and uh, I'll get into more detail. I'll get into like uh, amounts and gains and percentages and all that. So let me know right now if you have any questions so that when I do the individual videos, then I, ha I can cover uh, more and I can answer some of your questions uh, in that video. Thank you for watching guys. Remember, I'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family. So on top of my weekly vlogs, I'm also gonna put videos on how I plan to generate money on the road, how I save money, how I become a minimalist, and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement. Uh, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. And also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.